Honestly, the, the fact is, I think this band works too hard. Well, John, nice hey. to meet you. Um, I was just curious, do you still have a permanent house back in uh, California? Yeah, actually, um, but I don't see it often. It was uh, not that long ago, my now ex-girlfriend and I moved out and uh, we got a little apartment in the valley. So yeah, I have a place to go back to, but. How many, how many nights a year do you sleep there? Then? Well, this year we we're off for most of the year and we just started touring again like two or three months ago. Since we started touring, I've been there for four nights. So, and before, when this tour ends and the next one, I'll have like another 10 nights there. I'm sorry, I'm pretty, pretty wrecked right now. No problem. Is it important for you to have, have a good place that you feel comfortable in when you come back home? Yeah, I would feel terrible if I went home and had nowhere to go. It would be the worst feeling ever, because you know, I already kind of feel like I don't have a home, so. I need to get that at least some of the time. Does everybody in the band share this? They have a home, or they, they yeah, oh, most of them live with like their folks, basically. Because what's the point of paying for a place if you you're never there? Mm -hmm. You know, it's, so it's not really much of a problem because we're we're never home. Basically, our home is in a van somewhere. Do you feel that? Yeah, that's, it's a classic story that a lot of bands at some point people start. Yeah, get, maybe getting a bit disconnected with the home because of the the road life all the time. Do yeah. You have, uh, some have you have an equal view each of you in the band to, to when it comes to this lifestyle? I I think so. Um, different people, I guess, handle it a little different. But right now we've uh, we're all pretty used to it. I think the thing is, I'm only in touch with like my immediate family, any distant family at all. I just like haven't talked to in years. Um, and all like my friends from my hometown, I, I never see anymore. Yeah. <laughs> do you miss that uh, in a way? Yeah, I do. I like what I do though, so it's uh, it's something I knew would happen. Mm -hmm. Do are they aware of what you are doing? Yeah, of course. And what, what I was just curious about, you had some members in earlier stage leaving the band because of maybe other career uh, views, or they wanted to change that. What happened to them? Did did they? Well, our, our first drummer left just because he didn't like touring. Mm -hmm. He did three tours with us and hated it and was miserable the whole time, and so he quit. Makes sense. Um, some people can't hang, I guess. And then our second drummer, Nick Ritter, he went uh, and did like two solid years of touring with us. Most of the dates we've done as a band were with him. Mm -hmm. And um, we sound horrible, I'm sorry. No. We basically just parted because of musical differences and mm -hmm. he was having a hard time as well with playing a show every day and then not really ever getting to spend time at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is difficult, for more for some people than for others. What is for you now that after yeah, some years of experience now living this life, what is important for you to, to keep it healthy? Maybe not in a physical way, but more mentally. What is important for you to have? Just some a, privacy or a really a really positive attitude. Um, I can't like drink or party too much. Um, it sucks. I'm trying to recover from strep throat. On the, right now, this is really you can tell I, I sound horrible. And it makes me. This is the only thing that makes me not enjoy this tour right now. Is I'm unable to perform well because I, I they put us out in the winter and it was really cold. And I got really sick, and then I haven't had a day off in three weeks. So I got really sick. I'm not even sick anymore, but I just have not had a chance to recover. And I just keep doing screaming vocals every night, and it just keeps getting worse. But is it damaging your voice? Is it serious? In Probably. Sense? I have no choice, yeah. I have to, what am I gonna do? Cancel these Arch Enemy shows? That's my option, and that's a terrible option. That would burn all sorts of bridges for us. Is that is that a bit, yeah, the downside that it's at some point that you have these great opportunities, but there's also this pressure on you that maybe <laughs> if you experience it that way. Honestly, the the fact is, I think this band works too hard. I think we need to stop working so hard because it's kind of killing us. Mm -hmm. 
Are you talking about that with each other? Um, yeah. It's just a matter of convincing management that we need, like, to not do a show every day of our lives, that maybe every other day of our lives would be enough, you know? Mm -hmm.